Hello and welcome to video 2 of how to use the Boya BY-XM6 S2 wireless microphone. My name is Andrew, I'm a producer, director and movie maker. Hey, if you haven't watched video 1, you should because in video 1, I covered in great detail the benefits of owning a wireless microphone system like the Boya BY-XM6 S2. And in this video, in under 10 minutes, I'm going to make a video and we're going to systematically learn how we can set up the Boya BY-XM6 S2 as the main recording microphone. You know what? To do this, I should get my resident food stylist and let's make a video together with her. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a food stylist going to teach you how to make a fantastic dream. Firstly, get yourself a lemon and then some blue pea flowers. This flower is rich in antioxidants and can help you in weight loss. Thank you, Michelle. That was truly an impressive use of the Boya BY-XM6 S2. Not only was it used to connect to the smartphone, a mirrorless camera as well, and also a professional DSLR, getting you great video to record voice and also those action sounds. Now, I'm going to show you how you can use the BY-XM6 S2 to record audio as such, step by step. Let's start. Firstly, as you can see, the BY-XM6 S2 is already paired and ready to use out of the box. All you need to do is get the transmitter unit, turn it on, and clip it to your talent's collar. At this point, I want to pause this and talk to you about the open mic and closed mic system that I covered in great detail in video one. This will allow you to have that supermarket sound that we did intentionally. Firstly, get yourself a lemon. That's right. To get this effect, all you need to do is turn up the volume on the transmitter side and lower the volume on the receiver side, hence getting you that background sound. And then now turn on your receiver unit and choose the right cable to connect to your camera. If you're using a smartphone, you should use this cable. This is called a TRRSN and this one is called a TRS jack. The difference is that you have a tip ring ring shield and then tip ring shield. So this one is for your mirrorless camera and also your DSLR camera and this one is for your smartphone. The other end of course goes to your receiver's unit, this jack here. Oh, if you use the new iPhone, you probably need this toggle to get a conversion to this jack here. And the next step, the most crucial step that even professional movie makers will take years to learn. But I'm going to simplify it for you so that you learn this in one minute the adjustment of the volume. You have the transmitter unit, you have the receiver unit, and then you have camera unit. If you use a smartphone, then you don't have to worry about the third step. You just have to worry about the transmitter unit's volume and the receiver unit volume. Well, I'm going to make this simple for you. Go to your transmitter unit and turn on the volume to level 3. You can achieve this by pressing this button here. This will increase the volume up to level 6 and this will reduce this and all you need to do is set it to 3, not too high, not too low. And then go to your receiver unit and do the same, set it to 3. Get into the habit of doing a quick sound check, but instead of saying just sound check, 1, 2, 1, 2, don't do this, this is not good. Instead, rehearse the whole script. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a producer, director and movie maker. And in this video and two more to come, I'll show you how you can use a wireless lavalier system. And that is a better sound check and then you're good to go all you need to do is always have a habit of taking one footage first and play back what you have recorded and make sure that you play it back with a headphone or earbud at middle volume you know i truly hate those videos where you're watching social media and then suddenly something is so loud a video is that's going to kill you so you don't want that to happen so the habit is that you're not going to record it too loud or too soft so midway on everything in fact if you have a smartphone always have it a habit of just having the volume halfway that will ensure that you don't destroy your hearing so remember midway on the transmitter midway on the receiver and then mid volume on your smartphone now what happens if you use a mirrorless camera or 
a DSLR camera, a professional camera that allows you to adjust the recording level in your camera. Simple. You should start with three, three, and then go back right. In fact, I'm using a Sony Alpha 7. What are you using there, Daryl? Seven out of? 20, out of 30. Out of 30. And this turns out great. So before we started, we take three 12 footage just to make sure that the volume is good. And once you get it, that's it. You just dial to this number. But remember this, every time you change a mirrorless camera or a DSLR, the value will change again in your camera's recording level. Oh, important thing. In this situation, the aircon is humming quite loudly and I don't want to pick that up so I can actually reduce the volume on my transmitter here to have a closed mic system and then increase back the volume on the receiver unit or the camera's recording level. That is how you play with the open mic or closed mic system. If you haven't learned this, you should watch video one where I taught in detail how you can cut away ambient sound and get more ambient sound. And it is as simple as that. But before we end this video, an important professional tip, always monitor your audio. What does that mean? That means you should plug in an earbud or a headphone to the Boya BY XM6 disc jack here in the receiver unit and listen every time you're recording on your smartphone or on your camera to ensure that you're recording audio correctly. Because sometimes your connection on the transmitter unit or the capsule microphone may die and you don't even know about this. And there's a simple rule of thumb that my sound crew and I adhere to. The days that we don't monitor our audio is the day that we're gonna fail in recording great audio. So monitor your audio to ensure that you don't get horrible audio. And that is why I love the Boya BYXM 6S2 can always connect it to my earphone and listen to what I'm recording. So I'll see you in video three, where I break down in even more detail how you can get professional quality audio, making all your videos sounding like those great movies. And I'll see you in video three. My name is Andrew.